Childhood friends Liv and Kato live in the north of Romania, in a remote mountainous region with vast forests and a checkered history. In Glimmer of Light, Iris Wolf describes the friendship between Liv and Kato in Romania under Ceausescu in the 1980s. A life lived together under a dictatorship with its countless bans, reprisals, unfulfilled dreams and existential questions. Who am I, so to speak, in a system that is not free, in which I cannot think or travel freely? Liv's grandfather can't stand the restrictions and leaves for Austria. More and more people start disappearing, often overnight. With each person who left, the thought of leaving grew, and with each person who stayed, the hope of being able to stay grew stronger. And then, in 1989, the regime collapses and the border opened. Kato, in her early 20s, is one of the first to leave Romania. But Lev stays closely connected to his homeland, the landscape and the forest. Years later, Kato sends a postcard asking, when are you coming? Lev joins her for a trip through Europe, but will they be as close as they were before? The story is told backwards. The narrative is a journey into the past. Only gradually do the characters reveal themselves. I think writing always has to do with longing, because longing is also a feeling of belonging that you were perhaps lucky enough to have at one time in your life. Glimmer of Light, a story of friendship and loss, of memory and the search for identity, and of possible new beginnings. <laughs>